Hey, welcome back to thedrinker.co.uk with me, Pete Turner. And in this little series of films, I'm giving you my wine recommendations for all the UK supermarkets in the summer going into the autumn of 2023. And in this film, we're looking at the wines at Marks & Spencer. None of the wines in any of the films cost more than £10, so we've really done well to try and nail the prices right down but keeping the quality high. And Marks & Spencer are doing a really good job of that at the moment. So we've got two reds, two whites, a rosé and a fizz, and we will start off with this one. This is called, uh, it's Rustica, Sicilian Red, six pounds. It's 12% in alcohol. So it's just Rustica. And when I tasted it, I don't think the name does it any favors because I don't think it's rustic in the slightest. It's beautiful red and black cherry, maybe a little hint of strawberry in there. It's quite primary, but you know, certainly doing the business for six pounds a bottle. And it's, velvety and voluptuous and lovely it sits in the mouth really well it's not too tannic it, you could drink it on its own it'd be perfect for a barbecue beautiful sort of party wine rustica not rustic at all so there you go okay so next up this is Sabroso. Uh, it is a malbec it comes from argentina at six pounds fifty thirteen and a half percent and what do you get it's a bit darker than the first one uh, yeah, there's a lovely sort of earthy, almost sort of tobacco leaf um, uh, nose to it. Yeah, tobacco leaf and blackberry, black cherry. Hmm. And it's quite full bodied, big in the mouth. It's a beautiful wine at 650. Um, it's, yeah, you can tell it's a percent and a half higher in alcohol than the previous one. A little bit of, uh, of heat in the finish to it, but a beautiful wine at 650. Sub Rosso. Argentinian Malbec. So next up, this is the sister wine to the first one. It's called Rustica. It's another Sicilian uh, white, a Sicilian wine. This is the white one, and it's a blend of grapes. It's Caricanti, Gresciano, and Ansonica. And I don't know any of these grapes, but there we go. Native grapes to Sicily, I dare say. <sighs> yeah, it's really, really lemony nose. It's a really beautifully sort of lemony citrus nose and almost like preserved lemons mm. yeah and that lemon becomes more citrus uh, satsuma it's like a little citrus fruit salad in the mouth dry and fresh and pretty and again not in the slightest bit rustic and for six quid that would make a perfect barbecue wine okay so a little bit more complex next time this one is eight pounds fifty and it's Mosho Filero Roditis. Those are the two grape varieties. Apologies for my Greek. Uh, it's Greek wine. Mosho Filero and Roditis are the blend. And what do you get? This is from the Found range at Marks and Spencer. And it's actually it's introducing me to, to new two new grapes. So I I don't I'm not familiar with Mosho Filero and Roditis. Ah, oh wow. Yeah, some real vibrant uh, lime, almost confected lime on the nose. And, and there's something else behind it, some white flowers, maybe some white pepper. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a fresh and mouth-watering with acidity. It's easy drinking. It's £8.50, but it's really well worth every penny. I think that's an absolute crackerjack. So next up, we have a beautiful rosé. This is Fleur de Lis. Uh, it comes from Saint-Moy in southwestern France. It looks brilliant. It's a very beautifully pale rosé. It's £8.50 and is a blend of Tanat, Pinenc, Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon. And it's really lovely and pale. I don't know if you can catch that, but it's really beautifully light and pale and interesting. And there's a lovely raspberry note to it. Lovely, yeah, little bit of red cherry maybe. And that's fresh and classy and elegant and everything you want to a rosé to be pretty easy drinking lovely little strawberry red currant notes to it lovely wine at that eight pounds fifty perfect fleur-de-lis rosé and lastly this is marks and spencer carver seven pounds fifty i think the bottle looks great i think the wine tastes great too there's a lot of quite average carver out there but its standards are really improving it used to be great then it dipped and now it's getting better again and it's beautifully fizzy and it's a uh, lovely, lovely lime, uh, apple and grass, green apple and grass. 
and it's fresh and delicate and and very well balanced it's a really elegant poised wine it's got real character it's light and it's only seven pounds fifty <laughs> so there you go that Marks and Spencers have turned a miracle there with that one so there you go get yourself down to M&S some beautiful wines all at really reasonable prices great stuff um they do great stuff in their found range their classics range are really good and they're rebranding some of their top end wines too so have a look out for that I'm Pete, I'm on the drinker.co.uk. Give us a like, share and follow. Let me know what you're drinking um, and enjoy your summer wine. Cheers.